as the sands of time continue, so too does the Mass Effect series. Woo! Yeah! Yippee! What's up, guys? Welcome to Mass Effect episode 15. I couldn't resist playing more. Um, <laughs> I only played for two episodes this weekend, but maybe I'll push this one to Monday or something. Maybe you guys have to wait a little bit, but we gotta get in there. We gotta destroy some Geth. Um, so let's get to it. Also, this music was giving me, like, hard, like, almost like Dune vibes in a way of, like, ooh, like, just, like, some mystical, epic things, you know? Where did he did, Maji? I thought, yeah, we finished this area. Went and killed those Geth. That was Vamshi. Now we will go to... Hung? Yes, travel me to another system. Tree gear? We can survey tree gear. It's a tiny ice dwarf. Light metal surveyed lithium. And let's go over here and hit up Theshka. Theshaka. Nothing at the Shaka. It's another gas giant. Daily quest ready to turn in. I should probably turn those in. Matar, since I pretty much am on Game Pass almost every single day. Terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere. Survey it. We found some matriarchs riding it. And then we got Caspian. Alright, Caspian looks like it's where we're going to have to kill some Geth. Which means Pamal is a nothing planet. It's an enormous terrestrial nothing planet. Alright, let's read up on Caspin. Caspin is a classic pre-garden terrestrial world with conditions similar to those of Earth millions of years ago. Its hot, humid atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. An increasing amount of surface is covered by simple lichen and algae. Should no should no unexpected calamity occur, these tiny planets will change the atmosphere to the Earth-like nitrogen-oxygen mix over the next few millennia. Interesting. Due to its potential for future hospitality and sapient life, Caspian has been designated a sanctuary world by the Citadel Council. Landing is prohibited by law, and any disturbance of the fragile young ecosystem will result in harsh fines and imprisonment. At present, the planet is passing through a debris trail of a long-period comet. So what you're saying is... We gotta land on this thing and get in trouble. Hmm. We need combat. Rex, you're back in the squad. I missed you. Who else should we take with us? Sorry, I'm moving the mic around so much. It was getting hot in here. I had to open the door. Just gaming too intensely. I'll take, uh, I'm feeling some Caden, you know? Feeling some Caden. This skybox is interesting. It's like a sunset, but it's a little, uh... That's the debris from the comet. That's cool. All right, it looks like we got a question mark. That's the Geth outpost. So if we hook a left and we scoop around, can we make it just up that mountain? This place looks craggy. I wonder if we can get around that way. Cool comets raining down. Alright, that question mark is literally at the top of this. So if we can find a way up, we're golden. Mountain climbing. 
Man, the Mako is pretty impressive with how it can just do some of this stuff, though. It is the Skyrim horse of old. Or of new? I don't know. Which one do you think took place first? Mass Effect or uh, Skyrim? I think Mass Effect was made first. But. Oh, wow. That looks cool. Where are we looking here? Is it down? Is it down? No, it should be right there. Huh? Stay up on the mountain. Stay up on the mountain. Woo! Yeah. It's a beacon. Beacon for what? Take him out. Take what out? The beacon? The comets? ID tag recovered? Captain Thine. There's no indication of what was hidden here or who buried it in the first place. Who's Captain Thine? Who are you guys trying to take out? Caden's trying to yes, take sir. people out. No. No. Yeah, that one. Okay. Now we gotta head to, like, the northwest. I'm guessing it's that way. It's kind of hard to see the Mako. Let's go up on this pinprick of a mountain. And fall off of it. This is actually crazy. We're driving on the side of the wall. There it is. I seize it. I seize it. I'm guessing it's still up here. Because why would they make anything easy at this point? We've been makoing around for hours. I think we're at like 18 hours on this plateau. Come on. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's like got some greens in it. Looks like a painting over there. I just found out Elite Dangerous has captured the flag with their ships, and I'm uh, a little excited about it. Snicker and I will be playing that on Thursday. Which, when this episode comes out, will be a week out, like before. <laughs> oh. He's down there. Wee! Boom. Landed it. Crash probe. Y, X, Y, B. Hacker man. Every time. We keep getting explosive rounds and stuff. We really need to, like, make all of our guns have something going on with them. Hey, there's enemies. What you got? They don't have a Mako, that's for sure. Is the Mako, like, standard issue, do you think? Or do you think that it was made specifically for the Normandy's crew? Like, is this, like, do we have a special tank it's special to me eh. yeah. oh, we should probably make sure that they have the right rounds when we get to their base Wow! I flipped it! I finally flipped it! I mean, it's not a very good time to be flipping it, but... It happened. You saw it. It happened. We died. That was crazy. 
I wonder where it's gonna mark us. I said I'd do it, and I did. You know what really sucks is we gotta go up that mountain again. I'm gonna see if we can do it from this side. Might as well make it different, right? They said it couldn't be done. And I did it. I flipped it. So there. Whee. These mountains are a lot craggier. I don't know. Well, maybe we can go around it. No, because there's the wall. There's the edge of the map. Dang it. Alright, we gotta go back the other way. Flip the Mako. <laughs> Not again, but like, around. <laughs> We're doing so good on our Mako travel, too. Now I'm probably gonna like mess up going up the mountain or something. Rex is gonna make fun of me. I never thought I would flip it. Who knew? It just took driving on top of... Uh, can we make it up that? I'm going for it. We're getting up there. Mountain climbing in the Mako. It's kind of like a path. It's almost as if they knew someone would just try and drive straight up the mountain. Okay. 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 I think we gotta go a little to the right. If we can get into this little section right here. Yep. 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 Yup a rune. Woo! Alright, don't fly off the other side now. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have a conversation, Rex. You see, I like that you're standing right where I want to do business. Ooh, not as successful as last time. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Now go up. Oh, you got this. Oh, come on. See, I told you we'd look bad. Wee. Wee. Oh, viral flip. It all was worth it. Oh, it's one canyon up. Nah, oh, crap. What the? Here you go. What the? Mako, what the? That's an easy one. I've seen you do harder. You're about to do harder. Mako's like, I'm tired. You're just making me climb mountains. Yeah, get up there. Come on. Come on, Mako. Come on, Mako. Come on. Oh my gosh, it's like resisting. It's like legitimately resisting. Alright, well, let's go up this way because it looks easier. Come on. Come on. 
It's hard because I like want to look over there, but not drive over there. And Mako's like, you want to drive over there? I was like, no, 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 no. Chill, Mako, chill. Here we are again. There's that base. Are they shooting at me from here? Crazy guys. Crazy Gath. Wee. All right. Don't worry, we're gonna scum save. I don't want to do all that again. It's on level terrain. Yeah, you guys go do that. B. B. Y. A. Yep. Take those again. No, I don't want to talk to Caden. <laughs> Scum save. Save 15. Alright, we're coming for you guys. Stupid geth. Making me flip my stuff. Sneak, sneak. Shh, they don't know we're here. Oh man, I couldn't move back far enough. Get the armature. Oh, there's a turret right there. It's okay, we can take that hit. And we leveled up. That's right. You may have won the last battle, but we won this one. Let's hack their computers. The Geth Array is transmitting regular data bursts to an encrypted channel using the Alliance's own FTL combos. It's not clear where their data is being directed, nor the content of the single. That's not good. They're involved with us. That's... I don't like that. And intimidate is done. <laughs> Good, he'll be able to yell at people. <laughs> um Sure. Give you one of those. And that'll level that up as well. Cool. Sorry, Rex. Completely forgot about you. Your warp is done, Rex. Congratulations. Okay, um, what upgrades does it have? Has tongues and rounds? That's fine. Do you got tungsten? Yeah, you got that tungsten. And you don't have no tungsten. Let's get you some tungsten. There you go. Now we'll be able to rip through. Why are you doing that? Yes, sir. Why are you running? Oh my gosh, I've never had this many issues with talking to them instead of actually just getting in the Mako. Okay, one more location on this planet that's taken entirely too long. It's all the way over there. Meaning we gotta just go. Yeah, it looks like if we had just gone this way, it would have been much easier. We never want to do things the way we're supposed to do them, right? We wouldn't have gotten to mountain climb. We wouldn't have had to viral flip it. We wouldn't have gotten to flip it in general. And now I can say that I did flip it. Because I did. Whee! 
And we're about to make some moolah. Let's go. Gold! Uh. Is gold as valuable as... 31,000? We need to pay attention now. I want to see what minerals are the most valuable. Because I'm not sure what they use gold for in this universe. Besides prettiness and gold. Like, is it used in the construction of anything? Do they need it to make, like, some type of electronic thing? I don't think so. Unless, like, they've got some weird new tech. Or they just want a gold line the Mako. No objections here. Alright, make sure we're going the right way. Alright, we gotta hook right. It's down this path. Down this canyon. We're being jammed. Where'd the bad guys at? The Mako definitely needs a repair. Its wheels are all messed up. Right over the hill. Is there weakness? Oh no! Who's shooting at us over there? A lot of snipers. Ow! No! That was quite dramatic. Is that everyone? Do we do it? It says there's one right here. You guys got here on a dropship or something? Okay. They do have a dropship. Keep dropping them, see what happens. Oh no, our gun's still overheated because I'm pulling the trigger too much. How many are you gonna drop, bro? Can I shoot it? Or is it just these guys? I wish you could upgrade the Mako. That'd be cool. That's number two. Let's get to the next place. They gave up. You know, if they're smart, they'll just wait till we leave and then just reset up. But that would just make too much sense. Right? Well, we finished this planet. Back to the Normandy. We're done with Caspin. May have wrecked its potential. That was Hong. Now we're going to Tereskova. Tereskova. Mawanor Mawanor Dereshkova Outer World Sol Marlon Another Outer World Circle it around This Guzzi This Guzzi Heavy Metal Mercury Yummy Hunsarlar, how, how, Huns, 
Hunzalra. Or is it Hunsalra? You tell me. What do we got here? We got, uh... Batamalrus. We can survey Batamalrus. We found Iridium. Cool. Does that mean Antibar? Antibar is a cold terrestrial world with an atmosphere of methane and argon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of iron with deposits of magnesium. The world has been noted as a possible target for long-term terraforming. If the atmosphere could be increased in the thickness of Earth's, the global average temperature would rise by 10 degrees Celsius. Antibar combination of low temperature, high speed surface winds, and low visibility makes it dangerous to explore on foot. Let's do it. All right, Rex, you continue to be the combat man. Caden, you were annoying me. You kept talking to me while I was trying to get in the Mako. Snowy. Look to the skies, Traveler. There is a Mako. Whee! All right. Looks like we got question mark, we got anomaly, debris, and the geth outpost. Ooh, and Garas has two points. He's done with assault rifles, everyone give him a hand. And let's go ahead and get his electronics up. And I want to see, sweet, he's got tungsten as well. Left it was first for the anomaly. We two question marks. What is going on? Oh crap, that's a big one. Oh jeez. We have not been on our combat today either. I am not a fan of this. Oh, he's smart. He's cutting us off. It's okay, we got plenty of room. We just gotta keep moving. Woo, what happens when he catches us? Put your little tentacles out, boy. Oh, they are out. Oh, crap. Piss off his tentacles. They're sensory tentacles. You didn't like that? You didn't like that? Gross ass. Space dune thing. Ah! My friends were fed to you as experiments! Oh jeez, he's right behind us. Whee! Repair! Repairing! Repairing! Ooh! He almost got us. Oh, he's back to being pissed. We're back to tentacles. What is that? This place looks interesting. Okay, you guys see he's over there. I'm not seeing any more tentacles. We just gotta wait till he comes up. Go ahead and hit ourselves another repair. Joke's on you, I can just hit Y. Joke's on me, he's cutting us off. <laughs> oh, it's getting close. And he's back to burrowing. Get some! This is for my buddies! Who were literally, like, munched on by you for experimental sake. Hey! Rude!
prepare again. Whew, we got this. We got plenty of Omni Gel. He's almost dead. Don't panic. We keep driving too close to the sensory things and they just keep beating the crap out of us. Is he done? Did he go away? I was gonna say, he's not done. Oh, that, that stuff is just the worst. He's dead. That's right. We win. You lose. These people definitely lost. Whew. That one was close. We were getting down to the wire. That acid stuff just rips through the Mako. How many repairs do you think it's going to take? Who knows? Examine it. Discovery. The vehicle was a human corpse has shown the telltale signs of Geth weapons fire. The Geth have been mangled by the Thresher Ma. At least they got what was coming to them. So they showed up. Wrecked the humans. Like, wrecked the humans. And then got Thresher Ma'd. Fix our wheels. Now, what is this place? Anybody think? Yep, I was going to say Prothean. Yet somehow their interface is still good with mine. X, Y, B, or A. It... Okay, searching the ruins discovered a Prothean data disk. It must have been dropped by one of the Thresher Ma's many victims. Was the Thresher Ma then assigned here to, like, protect the... Like, do they have any... Were they the Prothean's pets? That might be interesting. Let's go ahead and save, because I don't want to do that again. Yeah, see, we're almost at 20 hours. <laughs> Yee -yee. Loving it. Straight ahead that way. All in a day's work for Commander Shep. He's a specter, you know. Still have one wheel that's not performing. Something to mine. What you got? Looks like a big hunk of... A hunk. Magnesium? Ooh! Going to the casino after this. The space casino. What? Maybe not. Immediately humbled. Immediately humbled. <laughs> okay. Magnesium gives us the same. Okay, so it doesn't matter what mineral you get. It's 31,500. Where are we going? Got a little off track. That way. Looking for ruins. Uh oh. We've been jammed. It's fine. We need to go this way anyway. Should be like right over here. It's not marking on the map. Maybe because we're too close to the uh, bad guy's base. Well, there it goes. Skill too low. This is your fault, Garrus. 
I didn't want it anyway. I didn't want no probe. Shepard doesn't like going to the doctor. I mean, what? Okay, it's gotta be up here somewhere. That's the edge of the map. What about this hollow where there's no enemies? Okay. What about this canyon where there's a base? I get Colossus, in fact. Anybody else up there? Just take the damage. Oh, don't take the damage. Just fought a Geth or a Thresher Ma. Scared to make this. Woo! Take that! He's done. He's done. But these snipers are really annoying. You. You. Oh, you guys want to drop more? Just give it a little bit of space. Boom! One outpost left. Like Sucker guts! Whee! Alright, we're good here. We just gotta clear out one more outpost. Ding dong 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 ding dong ding dong ding dong ding dong 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 ding dong dong. There's nothing else? That leaves. Gagarin. Gagarin? Gagarin. Gagarin. Jun Thor. We can survey Jun Thor. I must switch it up. We're going to go inside out. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Jun Thor looked kind of cool. What about pressure? Under pressure. Or is it. Is it press Sasha? Or press. Pressure? Or is it pressure? Pressure. Ryan Gree. Alright, Ryan Gree is where the last gath gath outpost is. Sogalaris. Soga Sogalaris. What do we got? Anti Rumgon. <laughs> anti Rumgon. <laughs> Wait, we found some cobalt from Anti Rumgon. <laughs> Why oh, is the anti rum gone? All right, we're going to Ran 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 Ray Ran Rayan Gree. Rayan Gree is a small barren terrestrial world. While it possesses a reasonably temperate climate and a number of useful resources, no mining corporation is willing to risk investment. A rogue planetoid dubbed Vats by the initial Solarian Surveyor team entered the system approximately ten thousand years ago and was trapped in a decaying orbit around Ran Gree. <laughs> It's nearing the end of the slow spiral inwards. Earthquakes and cyclonic windstorms are increasingly common on Ran Regree. Ran Rayan Rayan Gree. Rayan Gree, I don't know. Within a few hundred years the planets will rip each other apart. Some Asari travel concert consortiums have already announced sponsorship of cruises to observe the spectacle. <laughs> Yo, you wanna watch this planet just get ripped? Alright, well we paid for not having tally with us so we'll go tally rex the classic tally rex 
That's the other planet. It's coming for this planet. See it? It is right there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Turn this around. Anomaly, overrun research outpost, and debris. I guess we, uh, we just go in the circle. Ran Ragri, Ray and Gree. Ray and Gree. Rangry? Angry. Jump here. Here we go. Here we go. Am I going the right way? Yeah, we're going like right at it. Well done. If the shepherds learned anything, it's directions. Maybe. Maybe he's learned that. Maybe he's just gotten luckier as he's gone along. Yeah, I vote luckier. You level him up a few times. As long as he's got some luck with him. Hey, it's better to be lucky than good, right? Oh man, what is this little crashed pro- Not the probes! Why? long one okay I think the geth outpost was like in the middle the overrun outpost so we gotta go rescue him and there's some ore I don't know if I can climb this mountain though it's looking pretty craggly See what you can do, Mako. Mako can't do anything. We're going around. Yeah, it looks like we'll be able to get closer to the top side over here. Whee! can smell the ore it's a big block of ruinidium told you it was thorium they tried to get you with the XXXB rare element thorium Yet you still get the same amount of XP, you still get the same amount of money. We're right here, it's right there. I say we go circle around and get that other thing, but we do have a tally level up. Tally, what do you want to level up in? It's dampening. Put it into hacking. Interesting, I was curious as to see what they would do. Let's go around. Somehow this wind just makes this planet sound so empty. And I mean, it should be since it's about to rip apart. All right, we got this thingy over here, the last base, and then we'll have cleared that quest. Repelling the Geth invasion. Top priority. Only someone as good as a Spectre. Look, it's got normal suspension, though. Just noticed. You'd think that'd be a weak point. Hello, question mark. We saw that you were an anomaly. 
We are here to investigate you. Possibly for cash. Most likely for cash. Whee! And that. We want to mine whatever that is. We like money. Up first and then down. And this one's gonna be... Huh? Polonium. Do you think anyone knows what these are actually used for? Tally, you know why we're gathering these? Who are we selling them to? We're just marking them. Are they gonna be able to get here in time? This planet is supposed to shred apart. From above! That's how you approach a probe. We are parked in on somewhat level ground. See, the one time I didn't take Tally with me. Sweet, we got a medallion. All right, now it's time to go clear out the last Geth outpost. And see what happens. Any guesses? Rex? You get an idea? Interesting place. I guess they would not receive any resistance besides us for like setting up back here on a planet that's about to shred itself. Because they, it's probably not going to happen soon. Like, it's happening soon, but not soon enough that it, like, matters. Hold on. I, I got to take a picture. This thing is just too cool. Look at that. It's ginormous. Kind of like the original. Just the planet. Rex is running. Could probably take a better one, but yeah, because he's like standing weird. It's cool though. All right. Let's finish off these geth, huh? They've conveniently uh, put up all these like lights to, I guess this is cause it was an overrun one overrun one that's what it said on the little maparoo hello Cover me. you guys ready let's do this dun -dun 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 -dun. Here's a weapons locker. No! Man, I've been screwing these up a lot lately, huh? I'm nervous. I already have contact. They're in the next room. Stay alert.
They're in the next next room. Why is it like on the wall? There you go. Oh, they're husks. Interesting. All clear? We're not out of the woods yet. I got bogeys to the right and left. Only two over here. Oh, they opened the doors? Cheaters. Rex has got it. Oh my gosh, Tally, just go over there. Was that so hard, Tally? Tally? Was there only three? For some reason, I thought there was like four bases we had to clear, but maybe we only had to clear. No, I'm being jammed. I'm being jammed hard. I think when we go outside, we might have some enemies. 250 items already? Man, I got to destroy more stuff. That's fine. I can destroy all the random rounds. I've picked up so many. And we picked up a lot of new guns. Oh, we got a huge force incoming. Oh, they're Geth. Woo! Let me pull out my assault rifle. I'm using Unity. Rip them apart, Rex. No mercy. Oh, they're right here. Rex, no, get out of my way. Going for flank right. Moving up. Took down his shield. Anybody got eyes on him? He's right here! I got him. Get the sniper. He's down. Alrighty. Well, that was unexpected, but kind of expected. Anybody know where the door is? You think there's some outside? I haven't said completed. Yep. Get in the Mako. Down the hill. Alright, they flew away. Got a 
kind of a difficult spot to fight on. Use the cover! There's one more? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there you are. I thought one of these outposts would be a major base of operations. Oh, <laughs> Rex is buff. Picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. Okay. The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. I guess I'm gonna have to take Rex with me. He'll definitely want to be there. The Normandy. Excuse me. Where's he seeing this? He said it's in this star cluster. Grisa. And there's your cliffhanger. I got you. You thought we were going to keep going. Nope, not today. That is episode 15 right there. Cliffhangered you guys pretty hard. We wiped out all those Geth bases, and there is one more base to wipe out. So stay tuned for episode 16 where we wipe out that Geth base and then probably see what happens. Maybe explore another system or something. But man, I'm enjoying it. I like the gameplay loop. Drop down, make a round. Kill some guys, collect some things, maybe talk to some people, talk to the people back on the ship, and then come back, and then switch your weapons around, then mod them out, then mod your armors, and then change some things, then change the bullets, and then figure out that the Gether over here, and then you gotta go do it again, and again, and again, and it's just great. Honestly, I've been loving this game. I'm so glad that Snicker got me the Legendary Edition and told me to play it, and then it came out on Game Pass. Um... <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. Do all those cool things that YouTubers do. Uh, the liking and the subscribing and the dinging and all those things. But uh, look forward to episode 16 coming soon. Thanks. Become a, the best you can be. Become a Paragon Spectre. Believe it!